Hello friends, this is Sudhir Nemagada. Please subscribe this channel. Uh, this is a UI path learner. So you can make the I will keep on posting the new new uh, training sessions. So please subscribe this channel learner to expert. So today we will see how we can get the data from the Flipkart or any websites. So that means retrieving the data. Just I am searching in the search bar. I am searching something like a uh, shoe, shoes. Okay, shoes. So, or let me laptops. So you got these laptops. What is the today's task is uh, just retrieve these names, uh, product name and here product name and all the product names. Okay, all the product names and uh, prices and rating these these things. Uh, these uh, uh, three three values and store into the one text file. Okay, let us go to the studio and take a Take that uh, Flipkart data. So now we need to open that website. Okay, open to open the website, open open browser so just drag that browser into the uh, this uh, open space and uh, go to the chrome and select this url and within the double quotes you just copy that url so here in the properties you can uh, change the type of the browser i'm just uh, changing the browser to the chrome and uh, so there is a data can you see data scrapping so just click on that open that browser and here you have a wizard just click on the next button so it will first you have to select the first name of that product name once it is asking to select a one more product name it will compare those two and it will find all the things all the things okay select the second Dell product name so once we select uh, the second product name so it is asking to the uh, asking for the name of that uh, column that is a uh, product name okay so if you want to URL in, inside that uh, uh, that product you can use URL that is a two columns next It will retrieve all of these things things see see how many things uh, it retrieved so the all it re go to the all the products names and urls so if you want to extract more more fields just click on the extract correlated data just go to that and uh, this is a price i want to it is asking to select the one more uh, same type of field just I am clicking the second field it will retrieve all the prices uh, correspondent uh, product names you can see See, it is asking for the uh, what is that column name? So, what is the column name for this price? So, I don't want the URL inside. Just click next. So, see all the product names and URLs of that product name and prices. See four. 
The next one is a uh, what is that? Next one is a uh, twenty-nine thousand. See twenty nine thousand. The uh, product is uh, this one. Dell Inspiration mm, thirteen thousand, forty thousand. Okay. Once you complete uh, your the uh, scrapping, then you just click on the finish button. If you ask for the next button, just click no. We will in this demo we will just uh, I mean get the all the uh, no, that mean one page details and store into the CSV. Okay, here is a data scrapping uh, activity. Just drag this inside the uh, this do activity. So once the browser is opened, then we are doing the data scrapping. Okay, after that, so can you observe? If you observe, see here this extract. So there is a output is stored into the extract data table. So you can observe that this uh, variable session. So there is a data table. It automatically, dynamically, it's declared. So we want to transfer, convert this data table into the CSV. So to do to do that, so just go to this uh, CSV. There is a right CSV. Just drag the right CSV here and select the path of the csv where you want to store that uh, data <clears throat> just giving the desktop and uh, flip cart uh, laptop data okay so and here you just mention extract this method uh, this uh, variable name so that's it just test whether it is work executing perfectly or not i'm running it has to open the browser chrome and go to that url and it will search and go to the each and every uh, uh, there been line of the product get the three details product name url and price you can access any number of uh, parameters. You can access uh, this rating of the parameter uh, product. This thing all. See, it opened. I'm not doing anything. It opened the browser. Okay, something is wrong. Why it's opened the browser and uh, it uh, exited. It got laptop. Just see, CSV is created. Super. See? Very fraction of seconds, it's a retrieve. This is a this the performance and speed of the this execution. Everything is depending on the network speed as well as your laptop speed. See, these are all the products. How many 25 products? It's uh, downloaded. So the URL of that uh, products and uh, prices of that product. See, this is how we can extract the data from uh, multiple items. So if you uh, this is a uh, will I mean just the that is you just practice practice makes man perfect just practice install the UI studio UI path community edition it's a free and practice 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 you can become an expert in UI path just believe me you can expert you can become an expert in UI path. Okay, UiPath is a robotic process automation, so you can do automate anything that tedious jobs. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe this channel. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks. Thanks a lot.